Whew. We made it. We're in the void in between the holidays and New Year's Eve, but we still have some partying to do. So I'm gonna show you how to make a really nice New Year's Eve drink. It's a take on a French 75. It's called the Midnight Kiss. In a shaker full of ice, please add the following. One and a half ounces of gin. We're gonna use Bimini. A half ounce of Canton ginger liqueur. And a half ounce of lemon juice or the juice of a half of a small, reasonably sized lemon. Let's give that a vigorous shake. It's <laughs> always so hard. All right, professionals. Drain that into a coupe glass or a martini glass, but we've got this nice coupe glass. And then top it off with some bubbles. Oh my God. Don't edit this out. Let them watch me suffer. I should know better. I've opened 5,000 bottles champagne at least opa we'll garnish that with a lemon twist happy new year everyone thanks for watching A nice, light, refreshing drink to ring in the new year. I love Bimini Gin. Ginger's delicious. Ginger and lemon is delicious together. Everyone's playing nicely. And just the bubbles at the end, just really kind of bring it home. I would recommend getting uh, as dry uh, a sparkling wine as you can. This one's a little bit on the sweeter side. It's still good, but the drier the better. So I guess that's it for 2023. Again, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you on the next season on Happy Hour, brought to you by Maine Spirits. You can learn more about this drink and many other drinks at mainspirits.com. You can download their app for your smartphone. That's a smart move. Why? What to buy, where to buy it, and what to do once you get it. You can follow them on Instagram at Maine underscore spirits, and they have a YouTube channel. So you should check it out, at Maine Spirits. But no matter what you do, especially around the New Year's Eve holiday, just make sure you're drinking deliciously and responsibly. Responsibly.